like a mix between Lane and, uh, you know, Ronald. So we just call that. And oh, Sotetto's breaking out the Zelda. Um, if no one's seen Sotetto Zelda before, definitely maybe quit Fox for a while. But uh, so, so Sotetto has a lot of experience in this matchup, especially in Project M. In PM, he plays uh, Zelda entirely, and uh, Zelda in that game is a Space of Slayer. So let's see if he can implement anything from the game from PM to this. And a very quick kill for Sutetto. Falco dying at 73%, not much. Manimal probably doesn't know much about this matchup. So, uh. Oh, he could have gone for a downer right there. Enough hits done last. Uh, nice forward smash from Mandible. He's got a little bit of a deficit against Sutetto's Sheik. Or, I mean, uh, Zelda. I'm sorry, I'm just used to seeing the other one. So Tano's getting these tippers on the forward air really consistently. Mandible's opting for full hop down air. Oh, the double shine off the top kills Zelda at 55%. Uh, he's definitely taking a page out of Blue Jay's book, for sure. No. Uh, I did that a little bit, but uh, that's more of a Logos thing. Mandible's really trying not to get hit right now. Unfortunately, bad DI on those forward airs, too. Uh, terrible ledge guard from Suteto. Literally, like, no attempt. The down tilt? Followed by the forward tilt, or jab, I'm not really sure. Oh, tipper forward air. Suteto with a taunt. Oh, B's in the middle of the stage. Nice offense for Mandible, but if he gets opened up, that's it. Like, so he needs to keep using these crouch cancels wisely. And oh, the downer! It's gonna take Suteto Sock pretty quick. He's got a pretty concise lead so far. Suteto just needs a couple uh, of tipper forward air, or back air, or uh, a gimp with back throw, or just a good read on the side B or up B. So. Uh, you definitely, when you're playing a spacey, you can't count them out because they can bring it so much back, but you also count yourself out because uh, you can also kill them super easy. <laughs> Which is what Sutetta did right there, and Shine to Shine would have worked, and Mandible definitely tried to go for it, but it didn't. Uh, Sutetta prevented it. Sutetta's trying to power shield right now. I, I do not like these full hops from Mandible. Albert's not going to kill it quite yet. Is Sutetta going to be able to recover? He had his jump. One trade is bad, the double downer, and that's it. Mandible takes game one. Sotetto is going to switch to Peach for sure. 99% sure. Mandible bends Fountain. Sotetto takes him to Dreamland and picks uh, Peach. Just like I said. Um, Sotetto's Peach is definitely one who wants to hit down on the six stick a lot. Uh, make make you feel a little bit stupid about what you do. Uh, punish you for more of the things that you do wrong, more so than what he does right. He's also not going to be the aggressor in the matchup. He's just going to be more patient, like right there, waited and get up attacked. Down smash, good trade for Suteto. Not so much for Mandible. Oh, another nair. I think back air might have connected against the roll, but oh, just the downer would have worked right there. Uh, downer's hitbox goes very vertical, so I think it would have connected with uh, Peach using the umbrella, but. See here, up throw, Nair. Uh, downer would have also connected, it wouldn't have sent Peach off stage though, so I respect the choice. Nice back air, and that's the first stock. Mandible looking good. No L cancel on that downer. And Suteto, oh, Suteto read the up B, but he didn't quite get the angle he was thinking of. Takes the stock regardless. I was trying to find a stitch face. Up till I think would have connected right there if he had his own cancel. Oh, and he can't be taking this damage from down smash. It's already pretty much even. Nice power shield from Suteto. Mandible using the top platform a lot, which I approve of. If everyone, if everyone, if anyone knows me, uh, I'm the top platform camper for sure. The power shield grab from Suteto, a turn up, is gonna take the stock. It looks like no. Suteto flubs an edge guard, goes for a forward smash, and then tries to cover it up with a downer. But the downer did not have the hitbox out in time to, to save from Falco's up beat. Back air. Oh my gosh, Suteto's looking really, uh, really shaky right now. Not, not like his normal self. Back air from Mandible, the forward smash takes it. Uh, Suteto has two stocks to work with, he just needs one more hit on this Falco to even it back up, and there, there it is. 
A lot of rolls from Soteto. Nice dash attack. The spot dodge to avoid the getup attack. Nice tech though for Mandible, not taking any more percent from the down smash. Uh, Soteto trying to go for the chain grab, but does not jump cancel. Mandible gets it started. Oh, tries to, to get him with the downer really quick. Oh, it's Suteto timing his nair a little bit too late. Mandible is looking like he's gonna take it 2 0. I mean, I, I, he's winning neutral a lot. The, the chain grab from Suteto, nice tech. Well spaced back air there. He tries to read, I don't know, a double jump, and Falco's on his way out. One grab, forward throw might do it. One nair um, in bad DI will do it for sure. One nair in good DI might do it too. Mandible seems to go for these like double jump covering super, super high that uh, Suteto's not biting. Forward throw is gonna take it to grab the ledge. Nice. Good stuff. Bad DI in the forward throw though from, from Mandible. We'll see if he can get it back here to close the stock out. Uh, no, not quite yet. Good DI from Soteto. Oh, the down smash gets it started. Another downer? Oh, the forwarder. That, is this it? Okay, Soteto opts to just take the ledge. He could have just hit uh, Mandible with anything, and Mandible would have been dead. Mandible opting for the downer right now, which is not the optimal thing to do. <laughs> Soteto pulled the dot eyes, and then the... Um, got hit by a laser, so he had to drop it. Bad trade for Suteto, and Mandible's only down 48%. He can do this. He's trying to play it safe, camping the top platform a little bit, making Suteto come to him. Suteto needs to remember that he has the lead right now. Oh, nice grab. Th this is it. That's... Oh no, no edge guard from Suteto. Mandible has the chance. The get up attack from the ledge. Mandible's, it looks like he's trying to move too fast for his uh, brain right now. Slowing it down a little bit, nice down air. He's not getting hit by anything raw. One hit of that down smash is definitely gonna send you off stage. If you DI it wrong, uh, you can definitely lose the stock for it. Oh my goodness, the spacing right now. Oh, the terrible DI. All right, we're going to game three. Um, I don't blame him for the bad DI. Sometimes Peach sneaks a grab in there, but uh, like, you, whenever Peach grabs you and you're at that high percent, you gotta be ready for the DI. So it looks like Mandible's reaction time's a little bit slow. But game three, uh, I'm pretty sure Suteto will ban Yoshis. Either Yoshis or Pokemon, and I expect Mandible to go to uh, either, either of the the stage that he doesn't ban. <laughs> I know, right, Oblivion? That DI was, a uh, was something. I'd actually be really surprised if uh, Mandible took him to FD. I can see it, but I also don't want to go to FD against Peach. You can't run away, you can't camp, camp the top platform. Uh, Fountain, I think, is also another questionable choice because the platforms can lower down when you're on top shielding. And Peach can come down with a down smash and lower on top of you. It's really risky. Oh, Mandible's taking 60% off the bat. Crouch cancels the down smash. And the first stock goes to Soteto in under 10 seconds. Mandible needs to shake it off, though, if he wants to stay in the set. The uh, not so good shield pressure. Mandible. I think to just use full hops a lot. Short hop there gets spot dodged, but uh, no punish from Soteto, so it's fine. But... Oh my goodness. Back air, on oh, there, good choice. Suteto needs to realize that he's been too early to, or too late to be able to hit these edge guards versus Falco's side B. So he needs to, uh, he needs to opt to stay closer to the stage and just put out a move and, uh, it'll, oh, the meek. See, that's what I mean from Fountain is that he down smashed on the platform and it raised him up so that when Falco tried to DI up, it hit him just again and again and again. Oh my gosh, you cannot keep crouch canceling like this. Oh, nice spike from Mandible. He's still in it. He's got a quite the quite the deficit to work with. Up 
Rachel. Oh. The cover's high. That was literally the only option that Sentai could have covered. Alright, well, I gotta go. Yeah, you. I didn't hear the name. My name, my name got called over the loudspeaker, and then the same person who called my name uh, told me to sit down and finish my commentary. So we could time time me out or, or whatever, yeah. One more hit from uh, Suteto is going to take the set. Yep. One Nair, just like I said. There it is. I'm right, a predictor. Dude, I'm going to take his set because, you know, I'm going to take the power of Luke.